Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. I'll get to the end of the row over here and then I'll set the hired help going down this side of the field and then that'll be that. Don't need to do any more to it. Right, that's plenty enough on there. Back you over here like this and... Off you go again. I think that is just reaching the outside edge of the field. Right, so you go and do that, and we'll go and have a look up here. You are right up to the very end of the field. We're getting down to the end over there. So this one is just going to keep working, going to keep chugging away. We've got quite a bit of the field still to go, so this is just kind of going to be an ongoing a uh, slow drain of our cash that we've got. I am going to go, however... Uh, yeah, I do want to go to that one. I am going to go here and I'm going to take a look at the biogas plant and see what we've got in here. So we're on 39,000 left in there. We take 24,000 litres of silage in there, which means that this one here has got to drop all the way down to 26 before it uses up. So we won't fast forward any time yet, but we will be doing a bit of fast forwarding time in a little while once we have used up, uh, once we've done the fertilizer actually. And we've got our tractor back over. We can bring it back over, we can fill it up, and then we can fast forward time until we can dump all the silage in. This one can just be left to it. He can just carry on with what he's doing. One more pass should do this field at the width of space that we've got left on there. Yes, that'd be fine. So that job there is worth uh, 2,243. The cultivating right there, yes, I could go and do that. That's another 700, oh, 642. So it's more than, we lose more than half of it. We'll end up with maybe 200 euros for that. I I don't, yeah, I, I, I can't be bothered. Long story short, I can't be bothered to go up and do that cultivating. The farmer can do the cultivating himself. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not profitable doing cultivating. Even long term, it's not profitable to do cultivating. It's just not worth the bother at all. So we're going to leave that. This one right here. There we go. Contract on field 21 finished. And we get down to the end and helper whoever has... Helper H this is. Helper C. Okay, Helper C. I thought it was Helper H. Helper C has completed the task. So I can go into here, completed, and collect 2,243. That leaves me with 1,800 euros. I'll take this one back. 1,800 is not enough to buy another thing of fertilizer, so we're going to have to wait until morning before we're able to buy fertilizer. And this is why I want to focus now on the biogas plant. I want to get as much money from the silage that we've made over there tonight at midnight. I really want to focus on getting as much cash as possible from that bit and taking it over. Before I go back over to the BGA though, I will just park up at our yard and repair this tractor. Considering that it is now about one third on uh, repair value it could do with the service it needs oil change it needs new filters and we could do the grease up all the way through as well as it, it it's not looking very healthy so we'll just stop right in here we can also see what our fertilizer spinner is like it's been a while since we looked at that uh that one right there we want to repair 221 euros a <laughs> fertilizer spinner definitely needs some work 134 that's a lot better okay let's go into there you over this way put you back up against there so there's these two trees over here just wondering if i should go and sell these two trees if we should chop them down and sell them and then we can change this road over once more all right the possibly the track up the, actually no we we want the track to be right the way along we want it to hug the fence all the way around we get rid of the two trees and then the track will hug the fence all the way around. This bit up here, we'll do something a little bit different with it. I'm not quite sure what we'll do. But this track should be all the way down by the fence over to here. 
And I think that we uh, we will do it, but we won't do it tonight. We'll wait until the morning before we do that, because uh, then we can sort of work on that while some of the planting is going on in this field. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to come out onto the road over here. We go round the road just for this bit. And then we can go back onto the track up here where we've got a right of way that goes through to the BGA. So we can use that one. So we could have a track that goes all the way across our land, but I don't think we need to. I don't think it's going to benefit us to have that. So we come out over to this bit. And then we own a right of way that goes all the way up through here. So whoever owns the fields on either side, one of them will also own this track right here. And it might even be shared ownership. They may own exactly half of the track each. Highly unlikely, but, you know, there's always a possibility. We, on the other hand, we own a right of passage across that land. We don't have any responsibility towards maintaining the track in any way. We just own a right to go over that land. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is a much better option because then we don't have to pay for anything. So we've got 36 in there. I need that to drop by another 10. It will drop by another 10 in a bit, but it's not going to yet. We're going to load this one up again. Let's bring you back this way. Um, something that I want to do is... I want to be able to test whether this can load into a trailer. I'm just wondering how I can test that this loads into a trailer. This this one only takes potatoes. To load the produce on conveyor belts or the GBF. I suspect that this one doesn't take anything else. If we go and have a look at it here, the height of it... I suspect is also a bit of a problem, so I'm not entirely sure that we're going to be able to tip out into it. And if that only goes on to another conveyor belt, what are we going to do then? I mean, we could possibly have that one and... I was going to say this one. But there's no point in doing that. This one over here is the same price, and that picks it up from the floor. So if that loads into a trailer, we can use that one. We can tip into that one using our tippers that we're going to be using. And then uh, that one goes straight into a trailer. If that one can't go into a trailer, I mean, I'm not going to put them onto pallets. I'm not going to use pallets for this. Um, it's got to be that one. Because this one over here doesn't load onto a trailer. It's belt take from material and load it onto the next conveyor belt. It won't load into a trailer. This one... Turn to wed loaded trailers. One belt to the next belt. And that alternative, it can load conveyor belts with sugar. So you can tip a trailer direct into there. And then that then places it onto a conveyor belt or turns it into pallets. This one here turns it into pallets. This one, you couple it up with that one, you get pallets. Or it loads it onto another conveyor belt. So it seems this guided conveyor belt facilitates the handling of larger amounts of produce in a shorter time. Hmm. Does that mean that we still have to have that one? Let's have a look at this. It's got the attachment there for going on to another conveyor belt. It doesn't look like it loads up very high. This looks like it's just a loading machine. Because you sit on there and then you can sort of move it around in a big circle. It doesn't specifically state what that one does. Guided conveyor belt facilitates the handling of larger amounts of produce in a shorter time. This one, alternative way to load your trailers. That one, specifically conveyor belts, alternative way to load trailers. Doesn't state what this one will pick up. So this one will pick up everything. This one is limited to potatoes in particular. Now I'm really confused. 
and we're not using season, so we can't sort of do a test buy. I think we're going to have to take this one. There's 38,000 euros for this one. I think we're going to have to play safe because I don't think this one here will actually load into a trailer. So I think if we do get that one, we would still end up having to get this one here anyway, which means that we'd be better off just to get this one because we can tip out of a normal bucket onto this trailer, I think, onto this conveyor belt. And even if we can't, we would have to go and buy that one. That's only five grand. So we would we it, we should be able to do, afford like the extra little bit to go and get that one. So I think we'd be all right with that. Which means that we need a minimum of thirty eight thousand. So we're going to here, we're going to the miscellaneous, and then we've got the other bit that we wanted to get, which is going to be that loader. So I want five thousand six hundred for that one, and then five thousand for the one to pick stuff off off the floor, and then the other one. If I can't use this one to load directly onto the second conveyor. Anyway, uh, we're going to be looking at 38, 40. So probably about 40,000. Let's turn the engine on first. Probably about 40,000. But we could also be looking at uh, close to... Uh, when I say about 40,000, we could be looking at about 50,000. No. We could be looking at for we're going to be looking at about forty five thousand. We could be looking at fifty thousand instead. So anyway, whichever way, we need a lot of money. We're going to get as much as we possibly can from the BGA tonight, so that we're a long way towards it. The potatoes probably won't be ready to harvest tomorrow, but they will at least be getting closer. And if they're not completely ready to harvest tomorrow, the one thing that we can do is finish loading this we can get as much silage as we can tonight and then the potatoes because of how long they'll take to grow we should be able to get all of the silage here at the bga loaded into there and sold through the course of the day tomorrow while we're doing some planting and then we can have a look at starting our potato harvest and i'm not so concerned about getting the grass all planted immediately so what we could do is do a little bit of the planting tomorrow and then the next day we'll carry on doing more planting right let's stop that one next day we'll carry on doing some more planting and we'll be able to start harvesting potatoes at the same time that's kind of what i'd like to be able to do okay so let's go and take this one we will drive the trailers over next to the um the tip point and then we will just speed time up a little bit until we're able to actually tip the stuff out so i'm gonna go slightly that way there we go like that i wonder if i can reverse them all the way over too sharp turn too sharp no maybe not like, like that there so the the middle trailer, you're basically just kind of using that as a a little bit extra. The back trailer goes the direction that you point the tractor. And if you don't turn it too sharp, you should be able to bring it round like that. There, so you can get the whole thing in. So we can tip that one out, and we can tip that one out. I will... Actually, do I need to speed time up? What have I got? 14. Yes, I do need to speed time up a bit. So we'll go to 15 times speed. So that's just going to tick it through a little bit. Could Should just help a bit. It's still not enough gone through. We've got 4,480 left. And she's going to go there to 60 times speed. There. Let's tip that one. I'll tip everything out of the back one first. And then we can get ready and we just tip out the front one. And 1,800. That's not quite enough. Let me speed it up a little bit. There. Now we have enough. Tip out that front bit right there. There's 49,800 and some odd in there. Okay, so there's another trailer load or another double trailer load that we've got into here. Now we will... Go back over this side and we'll do it again. 
So I'd like to, we can work until 8 p.m. We're allowed to work until 8 p.m. And then we can start again. It's 8 until 7 a.m. We're allowed to start at 7 a.m. if we want to. That was our rules, wasn't it? Or was it 8 till 8? I don't think I had a 12-hour break. I think it was 8 p.m. and 7 a.m. You know, I, I genuinely can't remember what my time was. I, I, that's the one that I keep forgetting. So start you up right there. I think it was 8 p.m. Like, we can't work past 8 o'clock in the evening. Dump that down. Getting quite a bit of silage here now that we've sort of reached the middle of the clamp. There. Quite thick up here. So there's a nice lot of material here that we can shove away. And if you have a look in there, we've still got 278,000 litres of silage in here. So we've got quite a bit of silage here that we're going to be able to tip over into the BGA. Into the, well, yeah, BGA. This is the, the silage clamps. Into the biogas intake. Let's just call it the biogas intake. Let's come up a little bit harder on there. Unload once more. And then drop it down. That's trailer's full. Did that back one not fill up? I think it did. That's weird. I don't know why it did that. Right. Let's put you down there and then unhitch. Okay. Let's get this one backed out again. Okay, I'm doing a little bit too much of a wiggle on there. Let's... It's hard enough reversing a just a tractor and trailer sometimes. Like, if, you, if you're trying to reverse la around really sharp corners. But I've seen um, where they do, like, competitions for reversing trailers. For you know, It's kind of like a competency thing. But anyway, it's, it's a competition where you're reversing trailers. And so they put two trailers and string them together like this. Or they have one of the turntable trailers, you know, the four-wheel ones. Um, and so then you have the competition where they just... It's an increasingly difficult course that you've got to get round. And as the course increases in difficulty, obviously... You know, more and more people will get knocked out and they can't reverse round it. And then you have people who can reverse round. They re reverse two trailers like this around a course that most people will struggle to drive forwards around. And that's the bit that always amazes me is how some of these people can do it um, without shunting. You know, it, this you're allowed to shunt maybe once or and then after that you you're knocked out of the round and, and things like that. That that never ceases to amaze me, just how good some people are at reversing these trailers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty out this back trailer first. I got it on 120 times speed at the moment, and actually it's using it up faster than the trailer is tipping it out. So I'll go to the front trailer and I'm going to bring that right down to one times a minute. So tipped everything out of there. No, I can start increasing that again. So we're on 40,000 right there. It is ticking away down. So it, it does tip. It does sort of get consumed reasonably quickly. We're at 6 o'clock so far. And we've got a little bit further to go. I'm drifting sideways. I can see with the trees and that, the way the trees are moving, that the act of unloading this silage is making our tractor drift sideways just a little tiny bit. Um, it's not a huge amount, but it was drifting a little bit. But I've always found that really impressive, the way that some people can reverse um, tractors and trailers and lorries and trailers as well. Like, I've seen examples of people reversing a lorry and a trailer where it was a turntable trailer on the back of a lorry and then they reverse it and reverse it in such a way that the trailer moves off to the side and they can tip the contents of the lorry out and then they shunt forward and reverse again and um, tip the contents of the trailer out or you know the other way around but it's, it's literally just one move and it's round sharp corners and and all kinds of things it's very 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 impressive driving it really is and 
like you can see when you watch a, a short video clip like that, you can always tell the people that drive and the people that don't really know much about driving. Uh, the, the ones that tend to put the most amount of praise onto something like that. Right, excuse me. Um, yeah, the ones that tend to put the most amount of praise onto things like that generally are people that already drive. The, the ones that know just how difficult doing such a thing is and so they can appreciate the complexity of the particular maneuver in question you can tell the people that don't usually do much driving or certainly don't um, fully understand how difficult it is to do certain things especially with vehicles and trailers uh, because they're generally the ones that make the snider remarks like well if you're going to be driving a machine like that you need to know how to drive it anyway um, Yes, if you're driving a lorry, you need to know how to drive it. But I know plenty of people who drive a lorry for a living that would definitely... Well, you find it difficult to reverse the lorry with a turntable trailer on it. Um, it isn't an easy thing to go and do. It's possible to do it. Don't get me wrong. I've seen plenty of people do it. And it's tricky, but it is definitely possible. It's just takes a lot of practice but to be able to drive with that speed and accuracy that I have seen some people do that is altogether different like that is not the level of driving that you have to be able to achieve in order to get your competency certificate or otherwise known as a driver's license uh, that is way beyond what you need to be considered competent that is a that's the whole new level of skill right there with some of the, the the way that some people drive uh but anyway let's just go and have a quick look at this dude over here we will speed the time up a little bit about 15 times something like that i think we've still got 700 euros here so he's he's not consumed everything that we've earned so far from that fertilizer job but he is doing his best to try and get as much of it as possible onto his own plate uh, I will switch over to the rear trailer and well, we might as well just start tipping this out. Might have to just speed the time up a little tiny bit. So we're on 20 past 6 at the moment. Time we finish tipping this lot out, we're probably going to be quarter to 7 maybe. So I think sort of going on that rate, we're most likely going to need tip out the next one straight away we're most likely gonna be maybe two more double trailer loads I can slow that down I've tipped most of it out already so we're 10 to 10 to 7 and we've got to finish by 8 o'clock two more double, so we got four more trailer loads I think that we can tip in here before we run out of time so four trailer loads Plus anything else that we've already put in here. I don't think we're going to do too bad for money. It's whether or not that we can reach the trailers. Because now I've got to... I can bring them up to about that point. But I can't go any further. I could try reversing the trailers in here. But that's going to be even more difficult than reversing them out. I don't think I have that level of competence. I can try it. It's just... We'll try it with the next load. We'll try out the next load. I'll see if I can reverse the trailers in. It's going to be much more tricky, but I will give it a shot. Now, I want to go there. And I want to lower that one down. Right, it's not picking anything up there, so we want to reverse up a little bit. About here, I think. Yeah, that's perfect. Just the right amount. Okay, so I empty all of that one out. And then I can come back a bit more. Like that. So that front trailer has not filled up completely. There's still a load more to go in there. It's just decided that this one here is easier for it to reach. So I go right forward as far as I can go. And start up again. 
we're gonna make I'm hoping that we will make enough money to get everything that we need tomorrow that's what I'd like that's that's the aim here is I'd like to get everything we need for the harvesting of the potatoes tomorrow just reach the next line there so shut that one off bring it back a little bit and then unhitch right the next trailers i will attempt to reverse them in that's what i'm gonna do that's gonna be our aim here can i reverse these trailers all the way to the back of this clamp i don't know I do know one thing for certain. I have just smashed the front weight into that concrete pad three or four times now, which has probably not done it a lot of good. And it's probably not done the front weight on the tractor a lot of good either, but I suspect the concrete may end up coming off worse this time. Usually I'd say that whatever I um, hit with the, the weight, but this time I think the concrete would come off worse, but... There's no guarantee of that. Like, you concrete against versus the one ton weight that I've... It's actually about 800 kilos um, that I've got in the front of the tractor. That little competition really could go either way, couldn't it? So, we want to just bring that one back over there like that. I actually want to take it around a little bit sharper. There we go. That's better. Oh, no, 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 no. We turned the wrong way. Definitely didn't want to do that. I'm going to go like this. There we go. Like that. And keep it going like this. There. And then I want to turn it the other way now. Like that. There. So I've got both of them overlapping. And we're on 46,000 at the moment. So let's speed that up. I'm going to go to 120 times speed. It's going to take us to, I'd say, about uh, 10 past 7, I think. 10 past... Well, I've, I've gone way past that. Let me go here, and then we'll see what we've got left on the... Uh, see what we've got left capacity-wise. Right, 8,000. So I need to go on a little bit further. So, yeah, we aren't going to be able to do any more than one more trailer load tonight. We've got one more trailer load that we can do. I'm on 60 times speed at the moment. It's probably going to take us to half past seven before we can empty this. Uh, which means that we may not be able to completely unload the last two trailers. Eight o'clock is our limit. That's our hard limit. We're not allowed to work past eight o'clock. Even our dude in our field, we're not allowed to work past eight o'clock. But that's the 47,000 in there. Which means that we do actually have, what would that, there's only a few a few minutes difference on it. I was thinking maybe, you know, we, we could say that we had a little bit of extra. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.